This is a group of participants during a workshop at one of the classrooms at Simekaro Primary School in Tana River County of Kenya. As one of the 47 counties, Tana River shares the same name of a river that travels for over 1,000 kilometers from central Kenya to reach the shores of the Indian Ocean at Kipini. Kenya is among the countries in the west part of the Indian Ocean that is supported by the Dialogue Science Decision Makers for the Integrated Management of the Coastal and Marine Environment Program. As part of DDEM, participatory methods and innovative approaches are applied during workshop sessions with various stakeholders. <laughs> Peter is leading today's session. He is a member of the implementing organization KenWeb, the Kenya Wetlands Biodiversity, a multidisciplinary team established in 2010 under the auspices of the National Museums of Kenya. We have had a lot of management plans uh, created for the Tana Delta, so that had given solutions that can be implemented. But we found that some of these were not based on some science. And so we had to go back and do the research bit of it mm -hmm. to find more information that can be better used to advise on the way forward. I'm collecting data uh, to try to understand the effects of saltwater intrusion on biodiversity and livelihood of the people living around Kalota area. Since most of the silt carried downstream by River Tana ends up in this lowland, the soil in the delta has become very rich, thus ideal for farming and livestock rearing, especially during drought. Upande wa ozi, ukulima wake ni ukulima ambao wanategemea maji ya mtoni, ambao wanapata kupitia kwa bahari during tides. Na... Kukiwa ni dry, mara nyingi huwa wanapata shida kwa sabu mto unakuwa unakosa nguvu, chumvi inakuwa inaingia mojo kwa mojo kwa mashamba kwa sabu bahari inakuwa ikona nguvu zaidi kuliko mtu. Athari yake, kitu wa kwanza, manyasi inakufa kwa sabu simaeneo ya chumvi hakuna manyasi inaonekana, hakuna miti. Hizo miti zinakufa hii miti kwa sababu si miti ambayo inatumia maji ya chumvi. Tumeanza tumeanza hivi hivi yuzi. Mhm. Mm Alikuwa mm, tukai huko. Niko umetoka wapi? Huko Ozi. Ozi, umetoka Ozi. Eh? Mm. Na kwa nini kutoka Ozi kuja huko? Kule hali ya mazingira ime imeharibika kule kuhusu kulima. Ine maji ilikuja ya chumvi kwa mto. Maji ilipasuka huko Kalota alafu tukaathirika na kukosa maji ya kupiga sambani na ukame. Nyaka hii iliyopita mpaka saa hii mto ulikauka sana na samaki imepotea na tunapata shida. Samaki yeni ni shida saa hii. Sasa inaathiri sana kuhusu mazingira ya maisha yangu. Samaki hakuna. Na tena ile maji ya chumvi ikiingia basi ndio inapoteza kabisa. Hii mbelezo wa zamani ilipovunjwa hapa 1978. Alafu baadaye ikapasua tena mbele kule. Na wazee walikuja tena wakafunga na magunia. Lakini sasa hivi tunaona tena changamoto zingine inatafuta tena mabranches mengine ya kando kando huko. Inataka kuvunja tena zaidi. Current indications show the Delta cannot hold any more. The main reason why this meeting is taking place. Mwananchi huko hana ownership hata moja, hata eka moja mtu ambaye maona hakuna. Lakini serikali imeown land kwa jina la Tanda. Hii shida iko kitambo na imewahi kuongelewa sehemu nyingi viongozi tofauti tofauti. Lakini bado hatujapata msaada aina wote. Leo tuko hapa walimu ni nyinyi mume tuita tuongele maoni yetu kwa sababu hizo shida tutasaidika vipi. Je, tujue wenye watatusaidia ni nyinyi tayari ama ni kwenda mtuombe msada mahali ama tunaongea tunamweleza nani? 
While all agree that conservation of the Tana Delta is long overdue, meaningful activities in this regard are yet to be witnessed. Ironically, most of the interventions made in the recent past appear not to be based on scientific facts and are least informed on how a delta functions. $50 million, but there was no community involvement. It was all technocratic. It was all engineering. This thousands and thousands of hectares taken away from the natural processes never produced more than 800 kilos of rice per hectare. Well, I mean, in Japan, in Java, in Thailand, they produce six tons a season. Despite the fact that there are numerous challenges experienced here, these participants were expected to engage by focusing on the issue of the utmost importance currently, salinization of the Tana Delta. So this is the Totoka Museum. Kennedy Otoi is Kenweb's research assistant, and he tells us from where the participants came from. Pastoralists, farmers, and fisher, fishermen, plus also those women that are, are doing um, buying and selling of the fish. Participants were placed in groups, and after introductions, the first assignment was to develop their own sketch of the delta. <laughs> That activity of having them draw them up is really important to us find their perspective of, of how they see the delta and how they see their location, maybe their homestead or where they do their farming in perspective to the current issue with Kalota. Mm -hmm. And then also most of them, they never view their problem from a wider perspective. Mm -hmm. And then introduced now the more advanced map where we can have the bits and pieces where actually things are happening. Uh, since the workshop materials were mainly visual, participants were presented with a set of satellite maps, copies of large-scale sketches of past and present Tana River channels, mangrove cover, and specific areas affected by the Indian Ocean water. The flooding, which floods over the grasslands, feeds the trees, feeds the cows, the fish can reproduce, and the land is building. But if you put the dam, you re reduce this, so only here. So when you have a shamba in Ozi, you don't have this water for your shamba. But also the dam, it keeps the sediment. So instead of having this force, now, after the dam, the force of the land is becoming less. So when the sun and the moon are on the same side, you get high tide. Tulipo ziba hapa, tumesema majia baridi, fresh water ipiti. Na pia udongo haupiti. Sasa ile yenye napenda tope, isha anza kukauka kwa sababu hakuna tope lina, linaenda kule chini. Alafu ile yenye napenda changarayo kwa sababu changarayo inaendelea kuzidi, imeanza kumea. Kwa hivyo katika hali hii tumeanza kupoteza mikoko ya ina flani. So unakuta mikoko flani ndio iko mingi sana kama hii ya visini ya marina iko mingi sana. Na ile mikoko ingine kama ile mkoko halisi umeanza kupotea. Wale data juzi, mwalimu kama unaingia kwa bahari ile channel ile maka 1990 mali wezi kama ni high tide wezi pita pale kwa bahari yote it was only after they had studied the visuals and further explanation made 
that the participants were given the opportunity to also share their views regarding the plight of the Delta. Minazi in the in the, in the Kama Delta ni michache sana only at all zina kipini. Yeah. Lakini in the near future tutanza kulima nini? Minazi. Minazi kuna pesa sana, si ndio? Yeah. Hii mikoko. Pia tutaanzisha miradi ya um, kitalii na ufugaji wa nyuki zaidi. Ardhi yani maeneo yote ya shaga uka chumvi na tukifika kibokoni hapa Kwa mzo Jesef, Jesef anasema ye yeah, anaona hakuna maisha. Kwa ziba eneo yote ya shagwe kwa chumbi. Tukija, tukija shirikisho hapa, mimi naona nasema hapo kuna utajiri hapa. Kwa sababu tutadima chumbi, tutakona viwanda vya chumbi maeno yetu. O tuta create ecotourism <coughs> activities. Takuwa tunafanya from time to time. Lakini our natural, our natural life ile tumezoea kufanya kama zamani, tunavua mtoni. Iko, kuna mtu tunavua sae mtoni? Hakuna. Kwa ajili ya nini? Maji ya mto? Hakuna. Maji ya chumvi? Imengia. So inabaki history. Watu watanza kufuga samaki wa baharini. Watu watanza kufanya biashara za kubadilisha maji from... Salty water to fresh water, what do you Ya shara. Sindiyo? Yes. Ya. Yeah. And finally, it is also one way of God has brought a permanent solution between the Pokomos and the Orumas, <laughs> between farmers and <laughs> pastoralists. Sindiyo? It's all the land. So you never fight for grass because there will be no grass. Yes. <laughs> animals to feed, isn't it? Yeah. You never fight for water because there's no water for the animals to feed, neither for the plants to be negated. <laughs> also, you never fight for a place to farm. We open that door for them to actually give us their own view of the problem and their own view of how the solution can be solved. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, because if it's just from one angle, then we miss the point where, yes, we might know all the science or, or, or something like that, but then they know how to adapt and how to live with the situation. If from the first one we had done the right solution, meaning we release enough water at the right time and en enough sediment so that land can build and the mangrove can establish, we could have solved it easily. Now we will have to build three of those. And if we don't do it in the right way, the sea will actually come in. And in maybe 10, 20, 50 years, the, the, the delta will become a, a marine bay. Towards the end, the locals appeared to have appreciated the scientific presentation, although it was also evident that no single solution was found, and this was definitely not the intention of this workshop. However, these participants left Semikaro with more tools in their possession in the quest to mitigate the various challenges of the place they call home, the Tana Delta. Dunia ina mambo dora yoyo Oh ni fanye oh ni fanye nini Oh ni fanye oh ni fanye nini Ayoyoyo 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 ayoyoyo